Hello everyone. Thanks so much for joining me tonight for another live stream. I'm going to be playing with Lawn Fawn dies tonight. Uh, these two just were released recently and I thought they would be so cute together to create a really fun and colorful shaker card. So that's where we're going tonight. But before we get to the shaker element part of the card, I'm gonna work on a really colorful greeting. So um, just so you guys know what these are, this is the giant Make-A-Wish die. And this is the Let's Celebrate backdrop. And you have all these interior pieces to help build out things on the outside, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but they've used all the little colorful elements to fill in some of the gaps on the little border. Such a cute little idea. I'm not gonna be using all the interior pieces today, but I love that they're there if you want them. And I kind of think that these stars that are right here are the right size to cover these little stars right here. So if you wanted to, you know, cover those with a different color, you probably could. But uh, I'm not gonna be doing that tonight. Starting out with the giant Make-A-Wish. And I'm gonna be doing um, a watercolor striped pattern on it, but I don't want to uh, paint a bunch and then lose all of it. So what I'm gonna do is take the die and using a pencil, I'm just going to roughly go outside around the edges. And this is gonna give me a pretty good idea of what I need to paint to make sure that I cover every single area of the die. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove that. And now I know I just need to make sure that the stripes fill this entire area. It also gives me a really good idea on how to keep them really straight and horizontal. Although they are gonna be a little wonky and that's part of the fun. So the paints I'm using today for all of my painting are going to be Yuli Watercolors Christmas set. I thought these really colorful, kind of rainbow-esque colors would look great for this kind of stripy background. So I'm gonna put some water droplets on all the colors that I'm thinking of using just to get the colors starting to kind of soften and so I have lots of, lots of colors to choose from. I'm gonna to try to get like a pretty good horizontal stripe going here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this magenta color. It's actually fuchsia in uh, Yuli watercolors. Playing all my time My thoughts make me tired Just running through my mind Wonder if there's peace that I can find
Okay, so that was the Christmas watercolor set from uh, Yuli Watercolors. Um, well, the Christmas colors. This is a set that I put together on my own, but they are all the Christmas watercolors. All right, so I'm gonna remove this from the board. And then I'm going to do some die cutting. So now I have these lovely, this lovely make a wish. I'm going to go down and kind of position it so that um, it has mostly all one color down at the bottom. This first one is going to be our very colorful greeting. And then I'll do all the pieces for the shaker card. So I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine. Hopefully that cut really, really well. Feels like it did. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be so great. I love all the stripes. So glad I did that. You know what, maybe I will just keep the stars. No, I think I do wanna make them gold. So funny that this color is called star. And that's what I'm gonna to use to paint the stars. Yeah, I like it as a gold. That's really cute. I'm also trying to like, kind of like paint the curved edge of where it was die cut. I hope you guys can see this. It is so dang cute having the stars as separate colors. I'm gonna place it down so it doesn't move. But because these paints are so opaque, there shouldn't be any problem covering up the previous colors. That's why you can paint them on black watercolor paper or any other dark surface because they're very opaque. Got a little bit of gold on this blue stripe up here, so I'm gonna paint over that before I close my watercolors for the night. Make sure I have all that gold on there. Get a little more gold over there. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back and get that blue paint. And just cover up that gold. Won't even be able to see it. It's like it never happened. Okay. So cute. I love that. Perfect for a birthday card. So I'm going to set that aside to dry so all the stars can dry. Look at my lovely cutting plate here. <laughs> and I'm going to start to die cut the rest of the pieces for my shaker card. So like I showed earlier, I'm using the Let's Celebrate Backdrop. I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. See, so I've got this um, green that's gonna go on the top. I'm gonna have everything else be very white so that the greeting really stands out. Some of you in the comments were saying it would look really good on black, which I totally agree, but um, that wasn't the plan I had in my head today, so I'm not gonna be doing that. All right, so first we need to adhere this to some acetate. I already have a piece of acetate cut out. All right, so I'm going to do just like a little dab of glue on various little spots. I'm gonna do the frame last and I'm applying the adhesive to the back of the die cut. So it's going to go directly on top of the acetate. So I'm gonna take my acetate, which I've cut to be slightly smaller than an A2 card. Just press that down. And then I've got two share handmade kindness paperweights. <laughs> Just put those right there. And while that dries, I'm going to get my foam adhesive ready. So I've got my big, huge mama roll of foam adhesive. And the way I like to do um, shaker cards is I pull out a nice long <laughs> strip of foam tape and then I fold it in half. So I basically just get the two ends and I put them together and then I kind of 
hold it like this in my hand and if you have to separate them to get them lined up again, you can all the way until I have it done. So now I have a nice thick foam tape. The borders on the outside of this are thinner than my foam tape. So I'm going to cut, uh, I could probably just do half, maybe a little less than half, just to make sure it's not really showing. I'm just gonna cut it into a smaller strip. Now, if you have some thin, narrow foam strips, which I do, I have uh, some sheets of narrow foam strips from Waffle Flower, um, you can double up on those strips if you want, and then you don't have to use foam tape but I just, I really like the thickness of this foam tape and it's a really easy way to get exactly what you want. And it's also in one continuous piece. So today I'm gonna to cut the, the foam into strips that are just the length of each side of my rectangle card. But if I was gonna do a circle shaker or any other kind of different shape, having a one big long strip of foam is great because you can take the release paper off of both sides and then you can manipulate the foam. So I'm gonna save this one that's just a little too wide for a future project and I'm gonna use uh, this right here that's already cut. Okay, I'm gonna take my paper weights off. This should be pretty dry and I'm going to take the release paper off of one side and then I'm just going to, I'm, uh, the, the smooth end that's not the cut end, I'm gonna have that to the outside of the card because then it's gonna look really nice when you tip the card because it'll be really nice and flat. All right, and then I've got just one last little side here for the shaker. Okay, we're almost done here. I think we're gonna get this shaker card done in under an hour, which is kind of amazing for me. All right, I'm going to put this shaker together inside a Misty so that I have that corner that will help me get everything just right. It'll make more sense in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is put that, well, first I'm gonna remove the foam. Then I'll put that shaker right down into the corner of my Misty. And I have my card base here that is already folded and ready to go. So I'm going to eventually put this down right into the, that corner and press it down. But I wanna put all my sequins inside and get everything ready to go before I do that. So the sequins I'm using today, I have this nice big pack of all just kind of white from 28 Lilac Lane. So I thought that would go really well with kind of like the all like monochromatic white behind the really colorful words. And since there isn't anything behind the words, I'm putting in quite a few sequins. Cause I want there to be a lot of sequins Trying to get that really flat as much as I can. And then I can close that up. Now I'm going to very carefully take off the release paper off of the foam tape, trying to not disturb the sequins at all. Okay, make sure that's down in that corner. And then I've got my card base ready to go. And then I can press that down. All right, I'm really pressing that down on the outer edge where that foam tape is. Okay. Ta-da, it's a party. All right, and then this is going to go right on top for the Make-A-Wish. It's totally a party. I'm going to send the Make-A-Wish 
back through my die cutting machine. I'm gonna cut it uh, three times. So I just have to get all of these pieces out. These are nice big greetings. So just gonna do a little dot. Okay, then I can take one of them, place it right on top, kind of smush it into place, press that down, last one. And then our super colorful one right on top. I'm gonna put a share handmade kindness paperweight right there. Perfect size to cover that up. And I'm gonna get my card base ready to go. Okay, so then we'll put this right there in the center. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This is when I find Kathy Zilski, I'm doing this, making sure it's straight. <laughs> there we go. Almost done with tonight's cards. You know, it really makes me want to die cut those stars and uh, paint them in different shades. Or I could just do all the stars in gold. That'd be kind of fun too, because then it would mimic the stars that are on the Make-A-Wish. Getting all of these punched out. Just adding a little dab of glue. Let's see, I think I need to glue this one too. Okay, I already got that one. So here's the finished card for tonight. You can see all of that dimension and the shine and sparkle on all those gold stars. I think it turned out really, really cute. Super colorful and fun, which is perfect for a birthday. Thanks so much for joining me today. All of the supplies will be listed down below in the video description. Uh, so you can go over and do a little shopping. And thanks so much for joining me. I'll catch you guys in another video very soon. Mm -hmm.